Hi guys, uh, Ross and James at Ribeye Boats again. Uh, it's another episode of Follow the Build and on this episode we're starting the journey for two 941s that we're building for our client. One of the boats is going to be uh, used and enjoying Wales and Sulcombe, the other one's going to Bermuda. So we're down in our UK composites facility, James. Do you want to just start off start with how the 941s are built and we'll just take a walk? Yeah, I, th I think until now we've basically talked about the boats once they've, they've got up into fit out. But I just thought it'd be, well, Ross thought it'd be a really cool thing just to show kind of, you know, the stages before that. So the, the, the boats we're referring to, they're both 941s. This is actually kind of one of the stages before you've seen them so far. So what we're looking at here is this boat has had the gel sprayed in like the one behind. Then from there on, we've seen a skin coat rolled on and a barrier to give us this lovely surface finish that we have. And then we've dry stacked it with the relevant high tech matting and the core to get it ready for infusion. So this one to me looks as if it's gonna be infused tomorrow. Certainly it's very close to it. A real big key thing though that I want to point out is these are the longitudinal strengthening um, it, within this boat and these are what, what, what we call the bulkheads going across. We actually have perfected a method where all of this gets put in and actually infused in in one process. What that means is there's absolutely no secondary bonding. So that's how on our primes to the first day that we can give a lifetime warranty on the hull because they really are unbreakable. So I think if we, if we, if we go outside and we have a look, so you make a hull like this, you infuse it. In fact, we've actually got an infusion going on in the other room. So this has been infused, it's had the resin pulled through the tubes and everything. This vacuum is now being left on, keeping it under pressure, where effectively, you know, that's gonna go off and go hard and get ready for kind of us to release that deck. What you're looking at here is the deck of a, a rib upside down. Something super exciting actually in that back corner. We won't go too close to that, because that's something in development. But keep, stay tuned for that later in the season, because that's gonna be, that's gonna be a really exciting project that we're working on over there. So yeah, this is the infusion deck. And just, just looking at the deck, James, whilst we're here, yeah. you know, you can see the foam core here, the, yeah. the, the sort of square shape, they're the sort of resin channels, which allows the resin to run through all of this structure. And we're, we're using the foam core in the deck, the hull, and also the transom. So we've really sort of eliminated any sort of wood that goes yeah. into the construction of the ribeye yeah. prime. And there's also, there's areas of the boats where we actually lose the cord, where we threw bolt, for example. So everything's just built really solid and strong. Yeah. And it's got the structure in the right areas. Yeah, it's a process that ensures perfect consistency, it means we can control the weight of the, of the boat. And you know, it, it's just the way to do it if you're doing it properly. So and then that takes us outside here. And you can see this boat is now being the two pieces that have come out of the mold in that process have now been bonded together. You can see how they're all clamped all the way around here. This will be trimmed and finished. And then within here, we will bond in tube carriers. So that's another thing that we do. You know, we want like a really kind of watertight. So, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see boats where they, they don't bond in the tube carriers here, but we want everything really solid. And that's what we talked about last week as well, from a really good angle, actually, how we've actually built the whole rear into the deck molding, meaning that the storage goes right down into the deck. You know, this isn't just a flat deck That's with it. a piece bonded on top. I see it at the front here as well, just back to James's point. It's a really good stage to look at the boat, just to really see those deep storage yeah, blocks. Same. You can have a head compartment inside the console here and also access into the U-berth and the raised drainable anchor locker where you can have a windlass. It just shows we've tried to maximise every area of the ribeye prime. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, I think that's really cool and a really valid point in, as you can see in the rest of the of, 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 of stages of the fit out. I think this is worth just quickly looking at. This is here, this is the fit out. So what we've got here is we've got a what it looks like. Yeah, so you can see the the longitudinal bulkhead structure, sorry, the bulkhead and the longitudinal, and you see how they're infused in. There is no secondary bonding, so super strong, really light, because we've used this high-tech high, high tech core, um, and that's how all of our Prime Series boats are built. So should we go up to the other build now and look at this um, client's other boat, which I believe is the one for Bermuda? Boat number two, let's go. Yeah. Right, so we're back up in our fit-out facility up here. This is the other boat, so where we talked down the bottom about you know, finishing bonding in the tube carriers and all that sort of stuff, this has had that done, and it's now come in to begin the final fit-out phase. So um, this is going to Bermuda, isn't it, Ross? Yeah, it so is. If you just want to touch on a couple of the bits that um, yeah, make this one different. 
Yeah, sure, guys. So we're, we're trying a few uh, new things on this nine for Warden. As it's going to Bermuda, where it's going to be really hot, um, the owner's gone for a very sort of light colour scheme. So a quick example of that is you, we're going for sort of white powder coating on the towing mast. Nice. Same sort of finish on the T-top as well. So that's all going to tie in really nicely with our pure white gel coat. Um, we've also got some custom white Yamahas coming, so they're going to hang real beautiful on they're the back. Really cool, um, but you know, it's really early stages of fit out. So uh, the next few weeks, we'll have the other nine for one actually in that bay there. That nine for one's going to have left by then. Then we'll get the other nine for one in there, and we should be able to just follow the build of two really cool nine for ones, and yeah. hopefully we can launch both boats um, in another episode together so we can run them alongside each other before they go separate ways. Yeah, I think it's really cool, isn't it? Because one's really stealthed out. You know, the one we just looked at, yeah. all really black, which, you know, I personally love and I think suits really well over here. Yeah, yeah. But certainly for when you're going to these sort of climbs like Bermuda and stuff, you know, how are we going to wipe this boat out? And that kind of American vibe is going to be badass. Really. Yeah. So, yeah, really exciting. So last week we, we said that we were going to hopefully get that 821 with the twin 250s, which is the, you know, the twin 250 V6 one that we looked at earlier in the season. So that's going to be an incredible boat. Unfortunately, this week, due to it being like freezing cold and really windy, the sea's absolutely huge out there. Um, we've obviously looked at these boats, but hopefully next week the weather's going to be where we need it to be, isn't it, Ross? And we yeah. get that out on the water. Now, we're looking forward to it. It's the first of a kind, that boat. Uh, 500 horses, so uh, can't wait to get behind the helm. Yeah, it's going to be so, really cool. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.